For the past 25 years, the Siena College Albany Medical College Program in Science, Humanities, and Medicine has produced some of the most talented, compassionate, and motivated physicians in the world. But in the early 1980s, the program was simply an idea hatched in a hospital bed. In the late 81, early 82, I spent almost 40 days in the hospital. During those 30 some odd days, I would evaluate physicians. I like them, I don't like them. They have these qualities, they have those qualities. And I began to formulate a, a concept of what I thought a good physician would be uh, from my perspective as a patient. With the patient in mind, Dr. LaRoe began working with AMC's Dean of Students, Dr. Alan Miller, to turn those concepts into concrete ideas for an early assurance program. We worked together for a number of months trying to plan what this program should look like. From the very beginning, we both knew that anyone in this program should have the benefit of a full four-year education, and that immediately set it apart. Along with learning the sciences, they wanted the students to focus on their patients as people. They placed an emphasis on studying the humanities and encouraged their students to learn about philosophy, history, religion, and art. They also wanted the aspiring physicians to develop a commitment to caring for people in need. So they required the students to spend two summers working with the poor and marginalized. We should have thought, thought of this immediately that, that because of the Franciscan tradition of the college and service to others that that was the obvious strength of the program and strength of Siena College. From the beginning, the program was looking for young men and women who had demonstrated a commitment to human service in some significant way. With the curriculum approved and an agreement between Siena and AMC in place, Dr. LaRoe began recruiting students to start at Siena in the fall of 1986. The promise of spending two summers doing service work in developing nations or urban ghettos became a major part of his sales pitch, at least to the students. And we promised that they would have a summer of service that Siena would pick up the tab for, and we had no money. And I didn't tell the president, Hugh Hines, at the time we were promising this. LaRoe came up with the money. He also got 19 students to enroll in the program's inaugural class. The trouble was that Albany Medical College only reserved 10 spots for Siena students. So I told the students that, and they were obviously quite upset. We, they were crying and, and, and very upset. And just as they were about to leave the room, a young man from Florida raised his hand. He says, uh, Dr. Laurel, he says, I've grown to love these people too much to compete with them for a place in medical school. He says, tell Albany Med all or none. And I asked the students if they agreed to that, and they said yes. So I told Albany Med, we've got 19 students here, and it's all or none. Fortunately, Albany Med made some room and agreed to take Siena's whole class. With their partnership firmly in place, Siena College and Albany Medical College began building what has become a signature program at both schools. I think the creation of this program has been a unique event in, in medical education. But as I look at my own career, it's, I think it's one of the things I feel best about. Miller and LaRoe say the program's success comes mainly from enrolling class after class of intelligent, compassionate, and driven students. The choice of this student body has been unlike any that I know. And in my opinion, has resulted in a succession of amazing classes. Well, they're just a delight to work with, and uh, as you, and the new group that comes in is is equal to the one that just left. They're just uh, an incredible group of young people, and it makes it makes my day very enjoyable. The faculty at Albany Med, as I've talked with them, can you will usually be able to identify quickly who are the students that came from Siena. They've done extremely well in the medical school, and not only by any measure uh, performing well as academically, but has been in their role in, in, in the life of the student body. Albany Med was always a small medical school, family-oriented type, or, or good professor-student relationships, but I think the addition of our students added to that atmosphere at Albany. I've been told that by a number of attending physicians. Along with attracting the best and brightest students, Miller says the Siena Albany Med program has flourished because of the level of care 
it has received. The reason why it has done it as well as it has has not only been the choice of the students, but Ed LaRoe, who has really seen to it that, that all of the values that we discussed early were not only protected and supported, but enhanced. As he looks back on the last 25 years, the program's patriarch is extremely proud of the tradition it's created, the lives it's transformed, and the caring, patient-focused physicians it has produced. I would go to 99.9% .9 of the students who graduated from the program. They, were, they are becoming the kind of physician that I was looking for when I was sick 30 years ago.